Shalom, brothers and sisters. It, it, it grieves me that I have to take time out of the work the Lord has on my table and encouraging all of you and looking up and making sure everyone sees what's going on in the world to make a video and address the same person time and time again. And I think this is the last time I'm going to do it and I'm going to give you my opinion on it. But let's start with the facts. And for me, the facts is the word of God. Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, the King of the Jews, said the following. Luke 21, verse 25. And there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. So, one, two, three. Those are the three things I want to tell you first. And on the earth... Distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and waves roaring. And then he goes on and on and on and gives lots of signs. But hello, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And now, at the very end, with all things pointing to this time in human history, we are seeing massive signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. Besides the solar and lunar eclipses that all are telling us a story and warning us and being signs to us of the times we are living in, there are star systems and constellations that are all lining up perfectly and symbolically with God telling us stories. And there are multiple Watchman channels that are sharing with you how these star systems, stars, are telling us stories. So all these things are happening as who? As Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach, the Jewish Messiah, the Messiah of the whole world, told us it would be. Why? Because He is the truth. Everything He says comes to pass. So when He says these things and we get excited because you're supposed to, we are to encourage one another with these words. We are to excite one another, encourage Help each other race to the finish line. Keep looking up because the moment is now at any time he could come for his bride. He has given us signs. And now we see, for example, the eclipse that's coming up in a few weeks' time. And we see coincidence after coincidence after coincidence, which is another word for look what else God has done that mankind doesn't want to admit to. It doesn't even make sense. The amount of proof that is packed into sunning like a sign in the sun or a sign in the moon or signs in the stars. And then a Christian leader will say, this is rubbish and sensationalism. It's got nothing to do with the Bible. Hello. Maybe pick up your Bible, turn to Luke chapter 21 verse 25. Go to your inner sanctum and spend some time with the Holy Spirit and ask him to convict your soul to take a step back and start encouraging the body and not be focused on worldly things for yourself. Hmm. People, I'm not going to address it again. I personally, uh, partly because I'm so busy because end times has ramped up so crazily in 2024 that I'm barely touching ground um, just warning you and showing you and pointing these things out and praying and doing spiritual warfare and ministering and getting Bibles out and doing all the things we need to do in these final moments that I don't have time, A, and B, I don't even go to his things anymore because I know no matter what exciting thing God lays out for us, behold the red heifers first time in 2000 years is rubbish. Behold, the signs in these eclipses is rubbish. The sensationalism. Avoid these people. Only watch me. So I don't. I don't watch him anymore. I don't go to his stuff. There's many, many other places that are willing to just give the news as it's happening without any input that is incorrect. So I'm not saying don't. I'm saying if you do, just remember, man is fallible. And not always right and has opinions. And in the time of Jesus Christ, they never knew that he was coming. Because if people said to them, oh, if we take Daniel and we calculate the years, then we've come to the time of Messiah. And the rabbis would have said, oh, don't listen to sensationalists. Just study the Torah. It's not in the Torah. It is in the Torah. People looked and calculated and found it. The same way that we are now looking and calculating and finding 
Oh, you, we found the Messiah from Bethlehem. Oh, nothing good comes out of... What? You see, it's a thing. Has been a thing since the time of Jesus. Still is a thing. So do not, when people, even if they are leaders, say things like this. Do not let it bring you down. You hold on to your excitement. You keep looking. You put the pieces together. You study the word of God. And you see what God is doing. Because I don't want to arrive in heaven and go, what? What? The, the eclipses over America, they actually were a sign? <gasps> I'm sorry, Lord, I didn't think. And he's like, duh. How many more things did I have to pack in there for you to realize I was sending you all a signal and telling you what the time is, how late the hour is? Come on. We love all of our brothers and sisters. I love him too. I pray for him and the broken heart and the pain and the things that have changed him with the chaos and things that are happening in Israel. My heart breaks for Israel. I stand and pray for Israel nonstop. But I first and foremost follow Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach and his word and listen to the Holy Spirit's voice and prompting and his guidance on the path that he has set me in the running of this race. And the signs and things that he reveals through brothers and sisters out there that the Lord has spoken to and taken the time to reveal these things to for a time such as now. So, again, wrapping it all up. Stay excited. I, at Jake Comes Ministry, Pastor Sholto, fully believe that these eclipses are a sign from God. As to how late the hour is. So. I'm excited. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.